Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. And in today's video, we're going to be doing a Photoshop challenge. I mean, it's not really a challenge, it's just I had this idea of a hand holding this sort of a this ha hand holding a planet. And I already had some colors in mind. I wanted red, I wanted um, some vibrant colors that correspond with the red, of course. So, obviously, to begin, we need some images that actually work with our idea to start my work. So, obviously, I found this. Uh, I found this hand online and it's it was it was pretty much perfect for what I needed to do and for my and for what my work was about so in the first part you basically just spend a lot of time perfecting that uh, perfecting the main subject uh, in my case um, this is my this is one of my two main subjects obviously the hand will be the center point and the energy ball will like correlate with it so in this step, you gotta make sure that you actually put in the time of masking and getting those perfect edges because um, in the end that will make all the difference. If your subject is kind of wobbly and has um, fuzzy edges, it just looks very very bad. Trust me guys, um, when you're finishing your composition or whatever you want to call it, it just looks very bad. So make sure you put in the hours, the minutes, whatever it takes you to get those perfect edges. All right, so now I have bought my second subject in, and it is a red planet or red or earth, whatever you want to call it. It just looks pretty dope, so I got it in and try to match it with some cool effects and some blend modes. As you can see, it's like um, kind of a strings and wanes effect on my hand I did. It just looks um, pretty darn neat to me. So in this step, this is what I like to call environmenting. Um, so I just try to mask the environment as close as I can with the subject I have. And this is something very, this is something that can make a lot of difference in your image. If you have a bad background that doesn't blend with your subject, um, it's a lost cause guys. This is something I spend the most time on, just making sure the shadows, the highlights, everything matches with the background and just if the background looks good as it is as well. So the problem I saw with my background was is just it didn't really it didn't really make sense because my hand was so dark and with this light kind of background it just didn't really make a lot of sense. Um, so keep watching of a pretty neat solution I came up with. So at this point of my um, Photoshop image, I was very confused about the background. It still didn't make sense to me and just a simple black background uh, was looking pretty decent to me and I knew that I wanted something um, close to there. So after a lot of shadows and highlights and a lot of um, blending modes, uh, I decided it's time for some particles. So we add in our particles and just mask where we need them. Obviously we can't have it everywhere and that just doesn't look that good. So we're just going to have it where the hand is, where our subject is, and maybe it wraps around. Um, just a little cool particle-ish effect. I don't know, it just looks pretty cool. So after the particles, I finally came up with a solution for the background, which actually matched our colors and the whole theme basically. So basically in the background we have some particles and a little bit of glow to, you know, just complement our glowing colors and just to make more sense of it. Um, as I said, the more your image and your environment blend together, the more it is satisfying to look at. So 
remember how we talked about our background not working um, a couple of minutes ago in the beginning of the video? So this was my solution, quote unquote, to kind of making this work. So we already have a good background and our image kind of looks pretty decent, but it's kind of empty. The background was pretty empty and it just didn't satisfy me. So this was a solution I was talking about. So with a little bit of help of motion blur and some cool effects, especially warping a lot, um, I came up with this portalish or this um, land warped around a planet type of area. Um, I don't know, I was getting wild in my imagination. Um, but hey, it, the only limit is your imagination, right? So think of it as whatever you want. It just looks like a very cool effect. And hey, it blends in. So, yeah. Now it's time for a camera filter or trusty favorite camera filter. Um, now I wasn't expecting much, I just wanted to get my image a little more toned and darker around the edges of course and just a simple camera filter did the job for me. Alright so now we are coming towards the end of the video and I've gotta say it looks pretty darn cool. Uh, just one last thing I want to add is some blur effects on my image just to make the subject pop out a little more. Uh, just that mixed with some manual blurs around the edges of the hand and we should be good to go. Alright guys, that will be all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this Photoshop manipulation kind of tutorial. It's not really a tutorial, but hey, leave a thumbs up if you did and hit the subscribe button for more future content like this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.